we're here at Tentco today. We're going to give an upgrade to our tent. We're looking for something that's a bit more sturdy and we're hoping to get something really fantastic here today. We had a nice windy weekend out at Mountain Sanctuary Park to compare our existing tent to our brand new purchase. And this is the one. We've had the privilege of traveling to many places in Southern Africa. We've done that pretty much as novices and we've learned a lot. One of the things that we've learned is that we need to upgrade our tent for the various conditions that we find ourselves in. I hope this video will be informative and that it can give you some good information for your tent selection. Let's get straight into it. Here's a clip of us putting up our polyurethane tent. Putting up the tent is a relatively easy procedure and once you've done it a few times, it can come together very quickly. The tent and all its components are really light. In one instance, my significant other put the tent up on her own while I was off rescuing our car from where it got stuck. So in terms of assembly, this tent is a lot easier. With a bit of practice, you can have it done in just two minutes or so. Putting up our new tent requires a bit more effort, a bit more muscle, and it does take a fair amount of time longer. Basically, you've got to put the tent down, lay it out, and then put the frame up. The frame is made of stainless steel, weighs about eight kilograms. So putting it up as a single person might be difficult. I haven't tried that yet, but we did this as a two person job. Once the frame is up and locked into the corners of the tent, then it's just a matter of clipping the tent up onto the frame. Clipping it in stage by stage as you make your way up makes it quite an easy job. Alternatively, you can clip it in at the top and then make your way down. We found the former to be easier than the latter. The steel frame is nice and sturdy, but of course it's also quite a bit heavier than a typical polymer based frame. The ripstop canvas is nice and hardy, very durable and doesn't flap about very easily in the wind, which is really nice. However, it is a lot heavier than polyurethane, but the benefits really outweigh these minor disadvantages and delays in putting up the tent. In the context of camping for a day or a couple of days, losing a few more minutes putting up your tent is really a minor cost. In the context of having a comfortable night in windy cold conditions, it's a big win. What's good about this tent? This is a fantastic tent. It's made of polyurethane, which means it's really, really light. So it's easy to pack, it's easy to unfold, it's easy to put up, it fits in a very small space in your car, so it has quite a few great advantages. One of the things that I really like about this tent is this netting that's over here. What it means is that at night, keep the top entirely off and have a fantastic view of the stars. In the daytime, you've got good airflow through the tent as well. So that's a really great aspect of a tent like this. This tent is made of polyurethane, which means it's really light and it folds into a very small package that takes up very little space in your car. And that is really good when space is at a premium. These type of dome tents are really easy to put up. Minute, two minutes, and you can do it on your own as well. You don't have to have two people to put this tent up. So that's really great. This tent is also waterproof to a large degree. Once you've got the cover over it, it's fantastic. You won't get any water inside. What are the negatives of a tent like this here? The biggest issue is wind. If you're in a really windy area like the west coast of South Africa or somewhere in the norm of desert, this tent struggles. It gets practically collapsed by the wind and it's very uncomfortable to sleep in at night because it's really loud with all the flapping and so on that goes with the wind. This week is a good example of a somewhat windy and quite cold situation up here in Mountain Sanctuary Park. We're towards the end of winter when we're filming this and as you can see possibly the wind is blowing the tent backwards and forwards. This is by no means severe wind. This is nothing compared to what you get on the west coast, for example. So already this is quite uncomfortable at night because you've got this movement backwards and forwards. So really not great. And that's one of the really big negatives about a tent like this. So what are we looking for when we look for this new tent? One of the really important things is the height of the tent. 
I like to be able to stand up completely in the tent and still have a light above me that gives me light inside the tent, especially at night. The great thing about being able to stand up is it means that you can change your clothes and you can move about and do sort of basic things in the tent without having to stoop over and be uncomfortable and worry about the limited bedroom. So why did we choose this tent in particular? A couple of things. Number one, steel struts. A lot more sturdy, a lot more wind resistant. If you look at what's happening now compared to the tent that's next to me over here, this tent is not moving an inch, which means it's much better in windy situations. What else? Ripstop canvas. Canvas is fantastic for a couple of reasons. Number one is it's going to keep you a little bit warmer, a bit more resistance to wind, so you're not getting that cold air easily going through when you seal the whole tent up. This tent is also waterproof. Being waterproof is essential. You don't know when it's going to rain, and when you're in this part of the world, you can get some torrential downpours. So that can really spoil your camping experience. One of the things that we really liked about this tent, and the tag tag's still on, it's a brand new tent, is that it's got YKK zips with the lifetime guarantee. That's really important. If your zip goes, well, you're in a bit of trouble. Having zips that are reliable is really important. You want to be able to open and close the tent, get in and out really easily and not have to worry about zips getting wedged and getting torn and all that sort of thing. So that's one of the really important reasons that we chose this particular tent. Accessibility. This tent has some really great features. Number one is this little zip over here, which means that you can open that up, put your hand inside, grab small things out, hand small things to the person inside, or be given small things to the tent. You don't have to open the whole tent to do that. You do that quite a lot, especially at night, you're handing toothbrushes in and out of the tent and that sort of thing. So it's really nice to have a little piece of access like this. You also want to get electric cable into the tent for at night when you've got the light on or when you're charging your cell phone batteries or whatever the case is. So this little hole is also fantastic for that. It means that you can pretty much close the whole tent and just have a little piece here where you run the cable through. Really like the door on this tent as well. It zips all the way up to the top. Very easily accessible. And also zips out like that. Why is this important? Because you need to carry stuff in and out. So duvets and beds and all that sort of stuff. And you want the door to be easily accessible so you can get right in and out while you're carrying bulky stuff like blankets and duvets and pillows and so on. When you're not carrying blankets and pillows and duvets and so on, you want to still be able to get in and out of the tent feel easily and this works really well for that. Another thing that we really like about this here is you've got this shade cloth type netting which lets in the light and also lets air in and out of the tent. But when it's raining or when it's cold and you want to keep that warmth in there, you don't want air coming in and out and you don't want the rain coming into the tent, then there's these great flaps rolled out and it's sealed up a set of zips around the side here so you can zip that down on your side and velcro strip at the bottom so you can seal the tent off completely nice windows as well also, also this netting type material so you can get some air in and out of the tent also great that you've got these flaps so you can just unhook that Lift the flap down and you can zip it into place as well. So zip that there, zip on the other side, nice and sealed, no wind, no rain. Fantastic. One really big reason that we chose this tent in particular is this vent at the top. This is really great to have when you're in a hot area, warm air rises and you want that warm air to come out the top of the tent and be replaced by cool air coming through the doors and windows. So this is a really great feature if you're looking to buy a tent, especially a canvas tent that can get quite hot inside when you're in the sun, then look for one with a rooftop type vent like this. What are the negatives about this tent? Firstly, it is heavy. Everything in total here weighs 24 kilograms. That's 
16 kilograms of the tent and another 8 kilograms for all these steel stays. That's quite a lot and it's a bit of a weight to lug around. In comparison to a polyurethane tent which weighs, I don't know, 4 or 5 kilograms, really easy to lift about and move around with. Another negative about the weight is that it's difficult to move the tent around once you've put it up, which is really easy with the polyurethane tent. With the polyurethane tent, you can do it alone. With this tent, it's a bit of a struggle just with two people, but you can move it around, it's just a bit clumsy. Much easier with the lighter tent. Next negative is the bulk once you've got it packed. It's about three or four times the size of the equivalent polyurethane tent. So the bag that we have for this tent is about four times the size of the bag that we have for the polyurethane tent. And when you're camping or overlanding, space is premium in the car. So this takes up a bit more room, so you've got to be aware of that. By far, the biggest negative about a tent like this here is the setup time. It takes about five to six minutes to put this tent up in comparison to a polyurethane tent, which takes about two minutes. Another really unfortunate thing about a big, well not a big, but a heavy tent like this here, with these steel stays, is it's very difficult to do if you're one person. I haven't tried it yet, and I don't know if I'll be successful in doing it. Hopefully that will come with a bit more practice and getting used to the tent. With the polyurethane tent, you can do that one person. It's a bit clumsy, but it's very, possible, very durable. I don't think so with this tent, but we'll see with a bit of time. Two people is already a little bit of effort to put it up, so I don't think that a one person job would be easily done with this tent. So, all things considered, few positives, very few negatives. This has been a great part, I believe. We'll see with time, of course, but we're really looking forward to our next overland trip with this tent be a lot more fantastic and fun to be in in all weather conditions which is not necessarily the case with a polyurethane tent. The polyurethane tent will still have its place in the car, takes up very really little space, easy to pop up so when we're in a nice warm place we'll probably want to use that tent but this is going to be the go-to tent especially where it's a little bit cold and a little bit windy and so on and so we're really looking forward to our next overland trip with our brand new Ripstop Canvas Tent. Polyurethane tent, fairly light, quite small and compact, packs quite easily. Ah, canvas tent, probably four or five times as heavy, a lot more bulky, and that is excluding the metal stays which weigh another 8 kilograms altogether so this is about 24 kilograms not that heavy really but it is quite heavy and this is really light it's probably about 4 or 5 kilograms so a big difference a lot less space on the polyurethane a lot more space in weight on this but this is much sturdier great tent fantastic goodbye I hope that was informative. If you've got some comments, responses, something to share with everyone, then please comment below. And remember, hit the subscribe button so you can see our brand new tent in action in all our future adventures. Thank you to sponsors Boston Breweries. Remember to drink responsibly, not for sale to persons under the age of 18.